Okay. Hello everyone. This is Kevin, and uh, today I am going to show you how to solve a Rubik's Revenge or a four, Rubik's 4x4. Four four. So, this thing might look hard, but it really isn't pretty easy. Um, one thing that I want to know is that for <coughs> excuse me. So one thing I want to know is that for solving this or the way I'm going to show you, it's that you need after we're done with the first step and all we have to do is a 3 by 3 solve is you need to know how to solve it the layer method or the one where you get a cross first and solve a color and do the first two layers on a 3 by 3 so yeah cause if you solve it that way you will only get 3 of 5 parity cases and I'm only going to explain those three. So, and if you need the other ones, go to Pogo Bat's video on parody. Or just watch mine for the first two steps. So, <clears throat> here we go. The first thing that I'm going to show you is the notation for the 4x4. It's not, it's not really different from a 3x3. Three three. The only difference is that we have these two inner segments. These two. These two. And yeah, that. So <clears throat> the notate the letters we give for this are lowercase letters. So we give it the one that's par um the same letter that's parallel to it. So this one would be this one, but it would be um just a lowercase letter. So this segment would be little r. This one would be little l. Or I would be this way. And then this segment right here would be little u. And then this one would be little d. And so on and so forth. So a piece popped out. And also when we um like do a counterclockwise move instead of a lowercase i we use uh, an apostrophe because lowercase letters some people might have different notation letters so it will be just an apostrophe so we don't get mixed up <coughs> so please for that I'm only going to show you three algorithms and two of them are really 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 long the other one's not that long but still grab like a pencil and paper so you can write this down because I'm not going to have um, letters coming down on the screen so you can copy it there. I'm just going to say them. So, and also what you need is just grab a regular 3x3 three three that has just the regular colors and everything. Just like this because these don't have center pieces that tell you what face is what and we're gonna need to make it exactly like this so what I mean is that let's say white would be your top um, we need to know what what exactly is the opposite to white which is yellow then if we have a green blue is always opposite to green orange is always opposite to red and that's what we I'll show you what I mean as we go along so for now just stay tuned for my next video, part two. And if you don't understand the notation, just keep watching this video until you do. Alright, thanks.